Hello, Pokemon fans! I'm Professor K. My name's Zen. And we've got an old school opening for you. Legends of Justice! This one's taking it back just a little bit. Not too, too far, but uh, there's a Noble Victories pack in there, so that should tell you something. And Plasma Storm. Well, yeah, but I'm going back to saying that Black and White Noble Victories being the oldest pack in there takes it back a little ways. So, I found this at actually a Toys R Us, and I had to rescue it because it's just so beat up. Ugh. And my wife came across a $30 gift card for Toys R Us, so in all essence, it really didn't cost me anything. So, nonetheless, figure we'll get something a little bit uh, older. We've been opening all kinds of new stuff lately, so figure we'll just take it back a little bit and uh, open some of the old classic ones. Take a look at the back here. This is a Legends of Justice box, as Ann stated. Your foes' fears will be justified with the Pokemon TCG Legends of Justice box. Now, what's interesting here is actually the promos that are in here are still legal. They are black and white promos number 70, 71, and 72. So, if dark Pokemon really, really come back with a powerful uh, support system or something like that, then these actually are going to be pretty good. Well, if you think about it, Evil Tall EX is never really going anywhere. No, it's not. Regardless of Evil Tall, the focus around dark decks may not necessarily be a huge thing. So, justified. Each of this Pokemon's attacks do 50 more damage to dark Pokemon may not come into such a big play overall, but it's still pretty cool. The fact that all three of these have the justified attack. And so, I still think since Evil Tall decks are everywhere, it could definitely come in handy. Now maybe it's a tech card right now, but we'll see. Got Leaf Blade here, 50 plus, and if you flip a coin, does 30 more damage if it lands on heads. So there's that Verizian there, the uh, Shattered Hollow. We got Terrakion here. Now that could be a real dark buster. Yeah, seriously. Any of the dark type Pokemon that are weak to fighting, crushing blow for 80 plus 50 more to dark types. Uh, then you hit for weakness, automatic one hit knockout. And something very important. What's that symbol we see there? That's what I just said, for weakness. I, I know, but think about it. what can be powered up by a lot thanks to a certain set. Well, yeah, but again, if it's weak to fighting, then it doesn't even need that power because 80 plus 50 is 130. You're hitting for 260. You just can't beat that. Flip a coin if heads discard an energy attached to defending Pokemon. It takes a little bit to power it up. Three energy attachments, a double colorless, a fighting, and another fighting. But it's still pretty cool. Then we've got Cobalion here. That's big of support. What else can support with a new set? Exactly. Phantom Force has brought Bronzong into the mix. So Iron Head does 60 damage. You flip a coin until you get Tails, does 20 more damage for each heads. So 60 for two metal and a colorless. Pretty cool. All right, so also inside this box is three packs of cards. We've got the Noble Victories, Boundaries Crossed, and Plasma Storm. Which is like the hardest pack of cards to come by. Yeah, it seems like they just stopped printing them all together. I'm not sure why, but you just can't find them anymore. That's weird because they still print Boundaries Crossed cards. Yeah, they do, they do. But Plasma Storm, for some reason, just stopped production. Don't see them anywhere as far as booster boxes and in the card shops and stuff like that, especially. Our stuff's on them a while ago. So I'm gonna open up this pack of Noble Victories here and uh, see what we can get in here. Now there's not a whole lot in Noble Victories that's going to necessarily be all that great, but there are at least, there's at least one card that I'd really like to have in here. And it's really, really valuable. Yes. Axew, Mindfu, Yamask, Panseer, Ponyard, Semi-Seer, Duosion, Archon, Reverse Hollow Golurk Rare, not bad, not bad, and a Levani Hollow. Okay. At least you got one legal card. Yeah, we did. You're right about that. All right, go ahead and open up your pack of Plasma Storm here. So a Reverse Hollow Rare and a Hollow Rare. Pretty hard to beat. All right, got me here a pack of Plasma Storm. Really looking forward to what I get in here. Lots and lots of valuable cards are in this set. Matter of fact, everything in this set must, is much more valuable now. Yeah, because they stopped making it. All right. Got Purloin, Skitty, Squirtle, Magnemite, Turtwig, Durant, oh, skip a card, Labdrid, Scape Rope, Reverse Hall, Lucido Rare, Ludicolo, and, ooh, <laughs> sweet. And you said a reverse hollow rare and a hollow rare would be tough to beat. Well, you tied it. Yeah. And this is actually a really good Lucario, too. All right. 
Plasma Storm did not fail me. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our final pack here of Boundaries Crossed. Plenty of good stuff in this set. That much is for certain. But with two Reverse Hollow Rares and two Reverse Hollows, I'm not gonna get my hopes too far up because it's already a pretty good box. All right, here we go. We've got a Venipede, a Switch, Snivy, Cottony, Togepi, Heracross, Mineshow, Gloom, Reverse Hollow Rattata, that's a common, and a Superior Hollow. Wow, okay, so we managed to get three Hollows and two Reverse Hollow Rares. Not bad at all. That's pretty good for a box, I'd say. No EX, but that's perfectly fine by me. At least we got some good rares in this. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. A lot of shiny stuff in this box. So there you have it, guys. There is our uh, Legends of Justice box here for Verizian, Terrakian, and Cobalion's up there in the corner. So we rescued that one from Toys R Us from the grips of the shelves. And kids. <laughs> and kids, yes, exactly. That reminds me of that Greninja you had to save. Yep. All right, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We'll have plenty of new stuff coming up for you here shortly. So until next time, I'm Professor K. And I'm Ed. For the Pokemon Evolutionaries. Yeah.